Hello everyone. So today I have something I did a while back and it's my unit, like a storage unit in my craft room, which if you've taken a craft room tour, you have seen this before, um, but it's finished. So this is pre and I filmed it and I didn't post it on the channel. And then some of you were asking. So I thought, you know what, I, I will edit the video and put it on. So I did start with some paint that I had from Home Depot. It was just a small sample and I added some white chalk paint to it. The most important part of the process is taking some sandpaper and actually, because this is not real wood, it is a laminate, you want to be sure that you have sand, sanded off the top layer so that the paint sticks to this very well. Otherwise, it will create some bubbling, um, it will peel, just really wacky things will happen with laminate. So the most important is the prep. You want to make sure you wipe off all the dust, leave... Um, the least amount of oils on on the surface the better so no dust taking your sandpaper really making it dull then cleaning it again with a rag and then you can use a little roller i'm just using a roller from the dollar tree um, or a paintbrush whatever you feel most comfortable with and then just taking your paint an oil-based paint would be best and um or chalk based paint so what i did was i just used again a little sample that i had from home and I added some chalk paint and I thought the combination just worked really well and it's it's done its job I love this unit I was looking for something similar from Ikea I just couldn't um, justify spending that kind of money so I thought you know what I'm going to repurpose and upcycle a piece of older furniture and it worked out really well so you'll see the process a little bit closer once I film down below um, you'll see that I was sand sanding off all of the the wood I painted the interior again if you have something like this no one sees the interior but yourself then you can skip this I just wanted everything to be the same color so you can take the doors off the hinges and remove things. I was lazy and didn't take them off. However, I did take the handles off because I replaced them with little Home Depot diamond type handles. See, so when you do this process, um, you will see that it dulls that shine and that's what you really want. And then you want to make sure you have a nice clean cloth and clean that all off before you apply the paint. And it works so perfectly. So yeah, I put the little diamond handles in and I did keep the other pieces as, you know, ephemera for a future craft. And um, I also made sure that I gave this two coats of paint. So you can see kind of in the background that things are not perfectly covered. And then once I allowed it to dry, I went back one, you, you know, you finish one area and by the time you get to the next area, the top, the original part that you started with, with is, is dry. So I just took my time. I went about, did some laundry, <laughs> then came back to another part and I just found that was the easiest. So I did get in there afterwards with a paintbrush and finished off any areas. But you see here, um, once you apply the second coat, then it is super solid covered in in this white paint that I have which matches the rest of my furniture and my craft room most of my stuff is like Ikea based I do have a wood desk for my work desk but then my craft desk is from Ikea and this is the finished product I am so happy with it I absolutely love it I'm so happy I repurposed something and that it's it's like a brand new piece of furniture in my craft room and then um I'll share it with you how it looks in my craft room and kind of give you a quick little tour of some of the other areas. I hope you enjoyed this process or just seeing what I've done. Bear's taking a little ride. I couldn't carry this all by myself, so I put it on my painting cloth and dragged it across the house to get it upstairs. So here it is in my craft room, and you can see that it has little storage shelves for some of my knickknacks my craft oh sorry my desk table is on the right there my desk station and then my craft table on the left and you can see that it kind of has like a nice smooth finish and again you can use a TSP like liquid substitute to clean everything first I didn't go that far and it worked out just fine I haven't had any trouble with it this has been in my craft room four months now 
and it's done really well. And then I have an Ikea console here on the side where I display all my little Dollar Tree things. You guys have seen some of these trinkets that I've hauled, so they're all on display. I call it my mini Dollar Tree over here. I love, like I have a little pinks and whites and then a little pop of kind of like a teal color in my craft room as well, so they all go perfectly. I have an old vintage phone, my little mini ladder that I made as well and shared with you guys on the channel. If you wanna see that, I actually did it for I believe it was spring last year. I cannot believe how fast time flies. So yeah, and then there's like the little succulent, the, all of these little trinkets are from Dolly Tree. And then on my craft desk, you'll see that I have my pens here, but then I also have a ton of markers and pens and all sorts of random stuff, nail polishes, which I, you guys know I love my nail polishes. Um, are sitting in the middle part here. These are from Dollar Tree. I have not been able to find those stackable containers for over a year, which or two years now, which kind of makes me sad. I keep looking for them. Another couple little DIYs that I made and shared on the channel. Love my little wood tray with my diffuser. In here, I have all of my little trinkets. These little containers are from, the tiny little round ones are from the Dollar Tree. And then I have them all store like these little guys are from the Dollar Tree uh, this is from the Dollar Tree too or Dollarama I can't remember but I have all my some of my pencil crowns in there lots of little charms and stuff that I use for my paper crafts which I just pull out my favorite thing is my giant acrylic organizer from Michaels These are from Dollar Tree and I just bought them because I was afraid they were going to discontinue with them and then they didn't. So these organizers are from Michaels and there's three drawers and then I just filled them up with all of the little loose bits and pieces like this. And I like that you can see everything. That's super key for me when it comes to crafting is being able to quickly open something and viewing and seeing exactly what's there so that I could just grab it, walk back to my craft table, put things back where they belong. Love this organizer. And again, the main drawers are from Michaels because they're really large. They're supposed to, they're rows for washi tape, but I use them like this. And then on this side is just my workstation. And again, to the left kind of sits in the middle. This is exactly how I had envisioned having that bookshelf there. And then in the bottom, I store a ton of Dollar Tree DIY products. So that's what's hiding in there because that always gets messy. It's hard to kind of keep random stuff organized. So that's where I keep all of my junk. And then you'll see here, I have my, this is actually a dining room table from Ikea. I'll find it and then I'll link it here for you guys just so you have an idea. It's super wide and super long and it actually uh, closes shorter if you wanted to make it smaller and then there's my ikea side hutch i forgot to share with you these ones are from dollar tree some of them are glued together with e6000 and some of them are not i obviously got lazy and didn't finish that diy <laughs> they are supposed to be all glued together see these ones are still loose I got to put these back together or I originally have to put them together and I flip them all upside down so then the drawers don't ever get stuck they slide in and out super easily and that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this wasn't really a huge you know how-to tutorial but at least uh, you got to see how you can repurpose or recycle and think outside the box on how you can bring something back to life. I did the same to my desk because it used to be a dark brown. I know it has a big chunk of glass, but the border used to be all dark brown wood. And I painted that as well. And I'm super happy with how everything is more cohesive and light and airy. I do want to paint the room, but that's an <laughs> another challenge. Until next time, everyone, I hope you enjoyed taking a sneak peek into my little craft room slash office and seeing how I sometimes just take it upon myself to repurpose old things. Bye for now.